Hood, rich, 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 Look, y'all, let's get straight into it. So today I'm going to be breaking down another credit union that nobody in the game is talking about. Today we're going to be talking about Baxter Credit Union. And another reason why I'm mentioning Baxter Credit Union specifically is because I recently got approval with a client. He got 25K. I'm telling y'all, y'all sleeping on these local credit unions that nobody is talking about in your local area. All you got to do is build them relationships, ask them questions, go into your local credit union, stop sleeping on them, okay? So first of all, with Baxter Credit Union, the first data point is they're going to be non-GEO restricted, restricted, so you don't got to worry about where you're located. Secondly, to become a member, you got to join live money you okay i'm gonna put the little screenshot of what live money you is honestly i don't know what that is to be honest with y'all y'all just got to become a member with live money you is free and then you basically send like a screenshot to baxter credit Union, and then they'll approve you for membership and then they also do they also to check your check systems okay y'all a lot of y'all got fucked up shit on y'all check systems from the past somebody might have busted check on your you know old bank account and now you got that negative reported Look, y'all, go to your checksystems.com, pull up your report. They're going to ask for basic information. And with you guys' report, send it to me, okay? I'll take care of y'all. And then they're going to be stated income applications on a recent application, okay? So that 25K limit approval with the client was a straight approval. It wasn't no manual review. It was a 25K limit approval, and that's all, okay, y'all? They didn't ask for stated income. I think he put on the application 95K. And it went through, okay, y'all? So that's pretty straight. Another thing, okay, it's gonna be either they pull your TransUnion or your Experian credit report, one of the two. Just to make sure, freeze all three of your bureaus. If you're gonna apply for a credit card, then you'll know for certainly where they're gonna uh, pull your report because it depends where you're located. Just like Chase, the Bank of America, these big bank institutions, damn, it's thundering and lightning, man. My light is trying to go off. But yeah, just, uh, Based off, you know, where you're located, they might pull a different bureau. So freeze all three just to make sure, okay, y'all? And another thing, there's a specific, very good data point. They check your Vantage 4.0. This is an old credit scoring model. I told you guys in the past, okay, these local credit unions that nobody knows about, they check old scoring models. You can get away with a lot of shit, okay? Because these new scoring models are harder to get straight approvals, okay? These new FICO scores, they're very hard to get approved for with these institutions that are very updated, but these you know, old credit unions that nobody goes into. They still use them old score models so you could get away with something like an AU. If you add an AU on your report back then, a lot of these institutions used old score models, okay? You could get away with something like a credit card approval right off the bat uh, without having um, a lot of shit on your report. You just needed a couple of AUs and you straight, you in the door with a high limit approval, okay? Now they want to see some primaries, but I'm telling y'all with Baxter Credit Union, uh, since I haven't really, you know, put the method to test, but I don't remember what the client had on his report, but I'm pretty sure his credit profile was very thin. Like he didn't have a lot of shit on his report. And another thing, business products are restricted to Illinois. You can file a foreign entity. Okay, y'all. So you can file a foreign entity to do business with Illinois and then you have access to their business products. Okay. Other than that, you're not going to have access to their business products. And then they got a simply visa card. 0% APR for 12 months. I saw on the website, that's the only 0% interest credit card that they have. The other one is a travel rewards card, which I'm about to put a screenshot. And then the other one was a cash rewards, I think. But they didn't have 0% interest, but all their cards have a zero annual fee. Okay, y'all, so that's very good. And then finally, they got a secure credit card that graduates to what you put down. So like, let's say, for example, you put something like $500, $1,000, right? That's what they're going to unsecure you too so if you got some bread i don't know what they go up to with that secure credit card like the maximum you could deposit but if y'all can if y'all want to do that find out if you got a thin credit profile call them up and be like hey look uh if you got some bread to play with uh can i deposit 5k and then when it unsecures you got a 5k unsecured credit limit okay y'all so that's all the data points for Baxter Credit Union. If you guys want, go check them out. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this quick little video. Y'all have a good day. The Hood Rich Way. Go on.